Number five, a large lightning bolt had a 20,000 amp current and moved 30 coulombs of charge. What was its duration? All right, so we know the current. The current is 20,000 amps. Remember the unit of amp is really the same thing as saying a coulomb per second. Remember coulomb represents the amount of charge, okay? It also told us now how much charge passed through. In other words, they told us the Q 30 coulombs worth of charge passed through, and they want to know then how long it was. Well, easy, right? If you know how much charge passed per second, and you know that the total amount of charge that passed was 30 coulombs worth, how would we find that out? All it would simply be is just a division, right? You take the 30 and divide it by the 20,000. Right, in other words, you can think about this logically, or you can apply a formula. It doesn't really matter. We need to find time. So what's a formula that relates current, charge, and time? Oh, it's just the current formula. The current is equal to the change in charge passing a particular point divided by the change in time. If I need to solve this thing for time, just do a little whoop, little cross multiplication there. And if we notice then to solve for the time, all we need to do is know the charge and know the current. And we divide then the charge by the current. So in other words, it's going to be 30 divided then by the 20,000. Make sure you have all the standard units, charges and coulomb. Current will be in amps, okay, or coulomb per second. Doesn't matter, they're equivalent. And all we need to do then is just plug it in to the calculator. So that's it. So this will be 1.5 times 10 to the minus 3 seconds. If you need that in milliseconds or whatever, you know what to do. Hopefully, right? Chapter 20 by now, I think, I think you guys are good. So, uh, yeah, great job. And... Hopefully this helps, and if it does, give us a hand. Hit that like button. All right, thank you.